hello everyone and very welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you an open source alternative of vs code and continue extension this tool is peer ai which is an alternate or a fork of visual studio code editor and continue but with ai power in order to use it you can either use it locally after downloading it for free from their website and i will drop the link in video description or you could just get it from a pricing version which has few more features but i believe if you are using vs code locally for your day-to-day -day development you don't have to buy it but of course up to you if you want to go that way so i will be mainly covering this open source and free tool and we will be using our own open api key if you of course if you don't want to use your own open api key or your own llms key then you can simply go and use their paid version so why this is so interesting the reason being is that first and foremost it is an alternate of vs code which is one of the best code editor out there in my opinion and it's always good to have an open source version of your favorite code editor so you can primarily reduce the time from idea to conception with this pair ai just like you can do it with vs code so if you are comfortable with vs code the transition to pair ai should be very seamless it this peer has context on your code base so you can ask questions directly because code is stored locally on your computer just like vs code also it puts the user experience first because the ui and user x or ux is quite seamless as i mentioned earlier and because it is just a fork of vs code so you can just pick up exactly where you left off because we are already aware of vs code and i'm not going to go into the detail of that one let's go and download it and see how it works i am using windows you can use linux any linux flavor of x64 or you can even go with mac os installation and usage is pretty much similar in order to get it downloaded all you need to do is to go to their website which is uh, type ar.ai from there just click on download for free and then it is going to take you to this screen where you can either go with the paid version or you could go with the intern version and as you can see you can download it for windows linux and mac os i'm just going to click on windows here it is going to start download on top right the size is just under 200 mb which is quite low which is quite good i think for the xe file let's wait for it to get downloaded because it is such a new tool and windows is not much aware of it so just click on these three dots click on keep show more and then keep anyway and then it is going to complete the download of this exe and download is complete click on open file it is going to launch the exe so let's wait there you go so you can just click on i accept the agreement it's a usual windows stuff where you have to just press next 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 you can change the location if you want and click on install let's wait for it to get installed and then it will finish installing you can launch the pair ai so i'll just cancel it just because i clicked uh, two times on that open file and there you go you can choose your theme from here and then maybe i'll just go with the dark one okay i think i already did the dark one that is good it says it so i'm just going to cancel it uh, okay maybe i'll just try it out and then this is your peer ai if you look at it this is just very similar to what we have in a vs code you can even sign up here or log in and it is going to use your peer ai but i'm not going to go with that at the moment now in order to get started the best way is to just sign in from the right hand side to peer ai and once you go to the browser and sign in you will see this screen and i'm just on the free tier i don't even have to give any api key or anything at the moment but of course you can put in your api key if you want to use it for longer duration from there you can see that it has opened a chat box on the right hand side 
and in the middle you have your code editor and on the left hand side you have the similar extension and then file explorer and all that stuff which we see in the vs code so for example this is a example which you which I, I can quickly show you how you can use this so it's a very interesting for example you can just simply highlight this code by doing this or just clicking on there highlight the function gray item and then once you press Control capital l you can see that it has added the whole function which you have selected on your chat box you can talk with it for example you can ask what okay sorry i just actually pressed it multiple times so let me do it again so i have selected the code and i have asked what this code is doing and you can see that it has explained here in the bottom section that this code implements a binary search algo and then it has broken down the code piece and then given me more detail you can ask a follow-up question or you can just start a new session of chat here also this bit is interesting where it is showing you what context is being used this is the directory structure and then it gives you a bit more information about the whole workspace or your code repo what exactly is this is doing also uh, you can simply as you can see that this is just telling you what we just did here and then you can ask the question from the code again you can edit the code just by for example i'll just remove this or you can simply just go highlight this function by either manually highlighting it or by just pressing this and then you can just simply do control and capital i here and then you can just simply enter a prompt to edit your code uh, convert it to ruby function something like that and then click on submit and then it is going to work and convert it into ruby or whatever there you go so you see in line it has made the change here and then you can uh, run this file by just clicking it here and then from there uh, you can just simply click here and it is going to run it i'm not sure if i have the python installed here there you go it will error out let's debug it and then from there you can just start debugging it by asking follow-up question on the right and you know whatever we do in the coding scenarios you can follow it easily now also there are a few other options which you can follow with it uh, they also the good thing is that there um help is quite interesting for example when you press control capital i you can select your own model or you can go with the gpt40 cloud or peer a model i don't see any, see any option of using any uh, local models with olam or lm studio i tried also their repo i couldn't see anything there there are few mentions but i don't see any support at the moment but it would be really good to have something like that because we already have covered various code editors ai powered ones which use local models through olama lama.cpp and few other options but all in all a good addition let me know what do you think about this tool if you uh, like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching